Okay, so I'm Jorge Fernandez, and I know what you're thinking. YouTube, Wikipedia, Taylor University's internet problem. What next in my quest to prove that I'm a total nerd? <laughs> Facebook. My presentation is facelift. How to Facebook like the pros. Lost in the sea of faces, as I bet a lot of you are. To my profile picture. Let's uh, see what uh, your personal experience with uh, uh, um, Facebook is. Your personal expertise. How many people here feel they are novice Facebookers? Amateur? Okay, two. How many people here feel they are intermediate Facebookers? Okay, okay. A lot more. And how many people here feel they are advanced Facebookers? Two. Okay. <laughs> Anybody know somebody that is a bad Facebooker? Here, move. Name one. I have a friend whose name is Corey. I'm not voting in this election, though. No. Okay. So, what about you? What about you? Oh, um, my friend Kirsten Ellis just has like a million applications. It's impossible to find even where you like write on her wall and stuff. Mm -hmm. Well. Talking to some people yesterday, apparently moms are really bad at Facebook. So that's that's what I that's what word on the street is, I guess. So my presentation will focus on three aspects on becoming a Facebook pro. Not spamming, making a good profile, and fully utilizing Facebook's features. For the first part, not spamming. Application. Tip one to being a, to not spamming and to being a good Facebook, to becoming a Facebook pro, is don't invite your friends to stupid applications. These are applications that serve a minimally useful purpose. Examples of this: zombies, vampires, werewolves, and slayers, super poke, Jedi versus Sith, Democrats versus Republicans, and what's your stripper name? <laughs> The Facebook pro counter response to this is block stupid applications. When you get a Facebook request uh, for an application, there's an option on the bottom right that lets you block the application from ever contacting you again, ever. So just do that. That's a smart thing to do. Next will be hacking messages. Uh, this is a conversation uh, having to do with somebody who sent a hacking message involuntarily. Don't go to sites that hack your Facebook account. This is my second tip. These involuntarily send a potentially account hacking message to the victim's Facebook friends, which, if they um, follow the bait, will send an account hacking message to their victim's Facebook friends, and the cycle of stupidity continues. There's two ways this can happen. YouTube video link, or as in this case, a URL address, referee.com. Facebook Pro counter responses to this are Google URLs you are unsure of. Check with a poster to make sure that they sent the message to you. Delete the message from your wall. No reason to have it on, continually on there. Don't install anything based on a link you have been sent. Just Google it, maybe check it out first. Don't, don't just click on the link and install something. And use Mozilla Firefox or Safari if you have a Mac. Third way you can get spam, chain mail. Don't send your friends chain mail. Nobody wants to get chain mail. These are messages that ask to be forwarded to other people. These most often take the form of posts on Facebook. Facebook account deletion message, as is the case here, or a charity donation message. No, if you forward this to a certain amount of people, AOL will not donate this much money for, for a burn victim, okay? That's a hoax. Facebook Pro counter responses are, don't continue the chain. Don't do it. I know it may be tempting to forward it to all your friends, but just don't. Delete the message. Okay, there's no reason to have the message on your wall. And inform your friends that the message is a hoax. Now, I know, I know, this often doesn't seem like it works because people are idiots. But some people actually actually uh, believe, this, believe this stuff. So, you might want to tell them, a, you're forwarding stupid stuff, stop doing it. People like to spread Facebook posts, posts. And so, next will be making a good profile. 
And for this, I have pass out some handouts. And um, will the real Sim City please stand up? Tip one is to make a good profile picture. As you can see in the in the in handout two on the top is a picture of Kevin uh, Holleran, and that's a good Facebook picture. Okay, just so you know. Uh, that's my example of a good one. Have it be of yourself. Now, I know, I know. It may be tempting to tell the world that you voted for change on November 4th by posting a picture of Barack Obama on your, on your Facebook. But I want a picture of you. If I wanted a picture of Barack Obama, I would have uh, become a supporter of Barack Obama on Facebook. I want a picture of you. Changing your profile picture is change I can believe in. Make it interesting. Just, you know, nobody likes a boring Facebook picture that's just a webcam shot of you. Tip two, put the correct information of yourself. Is it so hard to put a correct birthday? Okay, I know you weren't born in 1946. You're great, you're like four grades lower than me. Your relationship status? I know, I know. It may be tempting to put that you're in a relationship with the same gender on, with somebody from the same gender on Facebook, but People actually take this stuff seriously sometimes. And relationship interest, okay, I know. If you're going to Taylor University, chances are you're not looking for random play, okay? And <laughs> your religious affiliation. If you're going to Taylor University, chances are you're not Muslim Shiite. Tip three, let it reflect yourself. Quotes, uh, as you can see in uh, handout one, uh, school info, Groups and pages are great ways to customize it to make your Facebook interesting and make it reflect yourself. Hidden faces, this is fully utilizing all of Facebook's features. Friend lists are a great way to do this. Use friend lists. They organize multiple people into a category, like multiple people are organized into the Taylor University category. And you get to this using the friend button on the top of Facebook. Um, the benefits of this is it allows for quicker sending out of mass messages. You can just type out your, your list and it'll put it potentially as all these people that you'll send it to and you click it and boom, you just sent it to, uh, what, 200 people. And it's more organized. And then the second part, second more, well, this one's not as, not as hidden as well as friends. More people know about this, of course. But it's video hosting. Use Facebook video hosting. It allows you to upload videos up to 20 minutes. The benefits of this is that longer video length than YouTube, because YouTube has a max of about 10 minutes currently. Um, tagging. This notifies others and allows others to know who is in a video. Uh, so all these people here um, are tagged are in this video. So this is great if you have like an old video that is of interest to that. It's not like YouTube worthy, but a lot of people in your school or in the video would be interested in it. And you tag it, and people that are you know, related with a uh, friend that have, that have like friends with these people and stuff like that will be able to see it. But, so this is great for this kind of stuff. A lot of people in a, in a um, event of some kind, great for that. Uh, so Facebook users can comment. A lot of people don't, well, not, less and less so have YouTube accounts, but uh, if you're a Facebook user, you can comment on that. And the drawbacks of this are ability to view depends on privacy settings, which can be kind of annoying if you want to see a video. There's no search option, and there's no favorite option. Now, you can see in the handout, too, on the bottom, um, what the upload page looks like. And it's actually supposed to be of you or your friends, and it's supposed to be made by you if it's on Facebook. Uh, not all the videos are, but I'm sure, but that's what it's supposed to be of. So, it's especially for that, the tag people. Conclusion, happy birthday, Maggie. Hi. That's another feature, birthdays, homepage. Tuesday, Maggie's bird, birthday, so you can go leave a message and fill up her wall. It's a great feature on Facebook. And uh, audience poll. <laughs> Okay, how many people feel this presentation significantly improves their level of Facebook expertise? Yeah. Okay, so now you know how to Facebook like a pro. Main points, don't spam. 
make a good profile, and fully utilize Facebook's features. Now, go ahead and give your, your Facebook a facelift. Just don't crash St. Bernard. 